Greetings, Guardians! Once again, it is Castle Grayskull 0420 bringing you an informative educational video about those types of games that we need more in our lives. Those types of games that we love to play. Those games that are brought to us by Roboto Games, who I do not work for, nor am I affiliated with in any shape, form, or fashion, but I will continue to stream and bring and play their phenomenal free-to-play-to-earn games. And I am talking about Last Made Standing, a.k.a. Arch Arcana, and their direct sequel, phenomenal follow-up, smash hit, Might and Monsters. And that's what we're going to take a look at today, Guardians. We're going to jump right into the action. Pleiati Battle Maids. Ladies, I am excited for Episode 4 of Season 4 of Overlord. Can you hear it in my voice? How exuberant I am. <laughs> but that's another nerd anime tangent that I will save. We want to get into our fashion show today, Guardians. Let's jump in. Pleiati Battlemates, I'm going to take it from here. Nothing but love for all seven of you. For those true nerd anime fans of Overlord. Guardians, I am in Might and Monsters, the direct sequel to Last Maid Standing, a.k.a. Arcs Arcana. Got about six minutes... A little under six minutes, six minutes, 23 seconds before I get another 10 keys, add on to my 140 of the pool that I have out of 200. New quest day has quest day has rolled over. Need to defeat three Gale monsters, win three times with Kadira, and defeat five Wind Spirits. So the Gale monsters and the Wind Spirits, they're both going to be in the same elemental region, the water elemental region. But... I've talked about this aspect before, you know, we're, the monsters and things, but that's not what we're here for. We are here to sort of, you know, pay homage to the Zoolanders out there, the you know the Magatsus, um, the Hansons. Let, let me let me break it down and get even more old school. We're gonna take a look at. We're gonna get a right said Fred on. All right, I wanted to use the Zoolander reference because I love Magatsu. Will Ferrell is just hilarious. I, I'm just going to leave it at that. But let's take a look at the customization, not only to your Guardian, as far as augmenting and changing their base stats with the equipment deck cards, with things that you get unlocked from chess. So I'll kind of show you here. You can unlock and customize your Guardian with accessories or the equipment deck cards for however they fall in, whether it be in the gym category, as you see the title for this. Equipped here, I have the Ring of Evasion, which gives a dodge stat increase. I just came from the accessory category. Here, equipped, I have a flexible belt, which gives me some more dodge stat increase. Prior to that, I just unlocked the flexible belt, I now I did have the shiny belt for Kadira, which gave a stun stat increase. Now you may be sitting there like wondering, like, okay, you're, you're talking about there's a fashion show. You're you're referencing Zoolander and my got and my got to, and even trying to say you're gonna get your right said Fred on. Well, if we look here, I just talked recently in the last educational video that I released, I had unlocked these heavy boots. For Kadira. But I want to keep the running boots on her. Because that's going to give her movement speed. Versus increasing the stats of her max hit points. I made an educational video on that. Check it out. But this video is a little bit different. I want to show how much of an onion game this is. And what I mean by that. You know for you Shrek fans out there. Ogres are like onions. Because they have layers. And all that greatness. But. This complete, phenomenal, brand new game that's been brought to us by Roboto Games, who wants to hear back from your suggestions and feedback, because they the developers are human. They want to know what you like, what you don't like, what they can augment, what they can you know tweak here and there. We have 3D rendering of our model renderings of our Guardians now. They pop. They're vibrant. 
We're, we're now gone from the 32-bit sprites of Last Maid Standing, a.k.a. Arx Arcana, which is cool, it's fine, right? Th that has a lot of nostalgic memories there. There is a strong fan base with that original game because it's been out for a long time. I mean, they even changed the name. It used to be called Arx Arcana. It now goes by Last Maid Standing. Without me getting too much of my nerd soapbox, let's take a look at this real-life fashion show and what I mean by fashion show, I'm talking about the accessories, the customization, and how it applies to your guardian while you are also trying to boost your tech combat, as one veteran player of Last Made Standing kind of pointed out. They just started playing this game once I put, it, put them onto it. So they wouldn't have access to a lot of the equipment deck cards that I would write this moment. I don't have everything because I'm still unlocking stuff you see how many chests i'm sitting on kadira right now is just wearing her woodland clothes you can see you can see her outfit you can see her her her, her get up all right and let me even take it a step further let's really see the the customization now look at her quiver your equipment deck cards are more than just equipment deck cards they actually customize and give fashion sense to your guardians. So besides trying to put stuff on that can affect your gameplay, your in actual gameplay, like right here, I've made an educational video and I've talked about this aspect before also, and it ties into the customization. Goes back into the last educational video that I sort of was talking about this aspect when I got the new card. I unlocked this card, the Entangling Bow, from a chest. It, give, it grants a stun increased status effect when I attack monsters in gameplay. And this is just for Kadira. That doesn't mean I can put the entangling bow on Pyro or or Boris. They they don't use a bow and arrow. They use different means of attack. I can replace the fast bow with the entangling bow. Now that only depends on my gameplay and playstyle. Do I want to have a fast attack speed when I get this card dealt to me and play it? Or do I want the entanglement? Doesn't matter. When you equipped, do you now see Kadera's bow, how it matches? Do you see that? That is some tension to detail. This is not something that's been slapped together that is a bait and switch, a money grab, microtransactions. Yes, Roboto Games is a business right every business bottom line is to make money but look right here guardians there is nowhere the shop tab is not even i can't even access it is it's not high it's not highlighted like the battle tab so if we look at kadira i, I want to bring her out so you can really see her pop i have her in her base her base equipment and i and we'll check one more thing also this is a great experiment to see let's i wasn't sure about the accessories if they would really pop we're not going to be able to see the belt like that, so it's not like a skull should pop up on there. But I'm going to start equipping... We're going to do a fashion show. That's pretty much what we're going to do. So she's in her woodland clothes. Let's now put her in the leather armor. Let's equip that. And now look at her... Look at her... Um, her chains. And now let's change her quiver. Instead of having the base strong quiver, let's take a look at the heavy quiver. Something else that I unlocked. You can see that your equipment will match the outfit or the accessories of your guardian. Whatever you put on them, you can see that within gameplay. Let's let's keep going. Let's let I told you this is we're getting our Zoolander on here. We're gonna try to get flashlights with it. Get the right said Fred. Do a little turn on the catwalk. Yeah, on the catwalk. So I just put her, I just took Kadira out of Actually, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't equip it. I tried to. So, I've got this leather armor that seems base, and you can see the stats on it. And then, here's an upgraded leather armor, and you can clearly see the difference in the presentation of it. So, if I equip that, you see all the extra flare and padding and protection. And then, it's the same thing with the quiver. I'll take the heavy quiver and replace it with piercing arrows. And now you can see Kadira's outfit matches the equipment deck cards. And then also the same thing with the bow. If I equip the entangling bow, 
Now, the boots, I'm not 100%. I think those are going to stay the same. Let's see. They got yellow buckles on the front. I think the boots will kind of, yeah. So, I want to keep her on the movement speed, but let's take a look at her. Large and in charge now. You can see the, the piercing arrow quiver upgrade. You can see the entangling bow upgrade. You can see the upgraded leather armor with the extra wrist protections on around her gauntlets. Or, yeah. You can see the extra protection on the shoulder pad, the extra knee pad. A little bit different. Like, you can see slight tweaks and, and things like that. I mean, it's not like they just slap something on and it's like, oh, yeah. You can clearly see the difference in this upgraded leather armor versus the other leather armor. The shoulder pads, there's more protection on the shoulder pads. There's more wrist protection. There's more knee protection. There seems to be more um, mid midsection protection versus... So, just in case you're not convinced, just in case you're not convinced, let's take a look at Pyro. Now, Pyro's garb, I haven't... You can clearly see there's... It can get better, but... Let's put on his spacious hat, which really looks more like a hood. I, I unlocked the crown of... The Crown of Dark, which applies Life Drain. But we're going to put on the Spacious Hat. And lo and behold, you can clearly see the equipment that you put on your Guardian from your equipment deck will accessorize and be fashionable to that Guardian. So I, I just wanted you, you Guardians to see this, to see how complete the developers have put in. Whoop, I wanted to select Pyro. So we can see him now. So you see, he's where he's got he's got the spacious hat on. It looks more like a hood, but we're not gonna we're not gonna question it. We're not gonna question it. I mean, it, it puts it makes the outfit come together. So if we go back, and if I put on now the crown of the dark, you can see Pyro is now the, took the spacious hat off the hood, and you can now clearly see. He's wearing this crown. So I wanted to really show that with Kadira first. Let's see. And we can kind of look at Boris a little bit also. So Boris will start with dirty clothes. He'll also start with a homemade shield. <laughs> you can train. So he starts with a training sword. So you, look, at, look at Boris's get up now. I don't think I've unlocked too, too much with Boris. Yeah, I moved from movement speed because Boris is more tankish. I could make him fast. But let's take a look at Boris now in his plain clothes and, and using his homemade shield. Like, look at that. You can see the strap of where he holds it. Like, that is real attention to detail that the developers had to put, that they took care of. Like, you can see the blood, sweat, and tears that went into these phenomenal games that Roboto Games has bestowed upon us. They're our salvation. And just like the Blues Brothers, I'm on a mission from God. Ever since I discovered this game almost three months ago and started playing, after three seconds of playing the tutorial, I was hooked. There, there was just... I could not stop talking to individuals about Might and Monsters. So, we're going to... I up unlock... A spiky shield, so we're gonna upgrade the homemade shield to the spiky shield. Check that out. So now we're gonna take Boris's dirty clothes and upgrade them to let's see, is that pronounced Spaldering? I hope that is Spaldering. You can clearly see all the extra stuff that's been that he's wearing now and equipped with. Like, look at that. He's got better stuff on his gauntlets. Look, he's got knee pads. Uh, he's, he's better equipped for, for battle now. Okay? Now, as I unlock more things and more accessories, of course, like the armor, I'll be able to start getting helmets and stuff. So we got the hardy head. But this is where the customization comes in. As you unlock guardians that are familiar from Last Mage Standing, a.k.a. Arch Arcana, the original... This is the sequel. 
It has so, there is so much raw hidden potential. The trajectory of where this game can go to or where it, 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 it's on the path of traveling is it, just hard to fathom, especially if you take in consideration where Last Mage Standing is right now today, aka Arch Arcana, what that game is today, and then understanding that this game came out in March of this year, 2022. What might and monsters can then become. I'm really excited. I, I know I've been jabbering quite a bit. I just wanted to make sure I pointed out the aspect of the fashion show. I'm going to get in and get some gameplay. Join the game. Make a player profile. My player tag is none in might and monsters. I hope to see you on the battlefield, Guardians. Because just like LeVar Burton would say at the end of every reading rainbow... Don't take my word for it, okay? See if this game truly is free to play to earn with the catalyst of that formula being the word play. In every sense of the word, you have to play these games. Input, output game. Play T Battle Maids. Ladies, can I get you out here to do what you do best for me? That voodoo that you do. <laughs> Check out the official Discord of Last May Standing, aka Arch Arcana, where you can meet like minded players, cordial individuals that will love to share in information because there is no gatekeeping. There is no elitism mentality. These games are not pay to play, not pay to win. So, none of those gamers are confessor in that environment. <laughs> they will share information. Leave a like and a comment for the games first and foremost, because remember, Guardians, it's not about me. It's about these phenomenal games that are free to play to earn. Come to your own inference. Check them out yourself. I hope to see you on the battlefields and do believe, Guardians, when I do, I will smite you. <laughs> Until then, Guardians, you be easy. Pleiotee Battle Maids, you ladies have the floor. <laughs>